Today, I'll explain about the uterine changes during menstrual cycle. Menstrual cycle is defined as the cyclical changes that take place in a female reproductive tract uh, in a rhythmic fashion. It begins at the onset of puberty, which on average is about 12 to 15 years. Um, the first menstrual cycle is known as menarche. Um, permanent cication of menstrual cycle is known as menopause and it occurs between the age of 45 to 50 years. An average menstrual cycle is about 28 days and it consists of four phases. Since it is a cycle, we have made here in the model in the form of a model and it consists of four phases, menstrual phase, proliferative phase, ovulatory phase and secretory phase. Since the main <coughs> The main organ that is considered with, that is concerned with menstrual cycle is the uterus. I'll give a brief introduction about the uterus. The uterus has three layers: uh, the outer layer, known as the perimetrium; the uh, middle layer, known as the myometrium; and the innermost layer, known as the endometrium. During menstrual cycle, the <coughs> layer that is shed off is the endometrium. The endometrium is made up of stromal cells uh, in which the glands and cells are embedded. And now I'll explain in detail about the menstrual phase. Whatever changes that take place during the uterine changes, uh, these are influenced by the changes taking place in the ovaries. Whatever hormones that are released during the ovarian cycle will influence whatever happens during uterine changes. Now, during menstrual phase, the, it, it, starts on, it is considered as the first phase of the menstrual cycle. It lasts for about uh, one to five days. Uh, during this phase, the endometrial lining of the uterus is shut off because ovulation does not take place, pregnancy will, will not occur as a result of which this endometrial lining will be shut off along with the blood. This process of shedding of the endometrial lining along with the blood is known as menstruation. Uh, the reason for shedding of the, uh, of the endometrium is because two days before the onset of menstrual cycle, that is either on the 26th or 27th day, there is a, rap, uh, a sudden decline in the levels of progesterone and estrogen as a result of which the endometrium is shut off. Now I'll explain in detail about what happens to the uterine during to the endometrium during menstrual cycle. First, there is a shrinkage or an involution of the endometrium. Involution means nothing but the reduction in size of the endometrium. Due to this reduction, there will be constriction of the endometrium. This, this vasoconstriction is because of the release of prostaglandins from the tissues of endometrium. Prostaglandins are nothing but the tissues that are, are the substances that are released from the tissues of endometrium. Also, since there is a decrease in the uh, level of progesterone and estrogen, which are vasodilators, this layer of, of the uh, uterus is also shut off. Now, due to vasoconstriction, there will be less blood supply to this region as a result of which oxygen supply will also be less. This led, reduced unavailability of oxygen is known as hypoxia. This vasoconstriction will lead to hypoxia. Hypoxia will lead to necrosis, which is tissue death. This, all, the, all the tissues present here will, be, will become dead tissues as a result of which the uterus will contract. Contraction of the uterus will lead to the expulsion of the dead tissues along with the blood through the vagina. Um, <clears throat> normally, at the end of menstrual phase, about 35 ml of blood is released. Uh, blood will, uh, is always released in serous form, except in some pathological conditions where the anticoagulant fibrin is absent, where blood will come out in clot form. Menstrual phase is followed by the proliferative phase which is between the 6 to 13 days of menstrual cycle. It is when the menstruation stops and the ovulation begins. It, is, it corresponds to the follicular phase of the menstrual cycle. Hmm. Now I will explain in detail about what happens to the endometrium during proliferative phase. Proliferative phase occurs under the influence of estrogen which is released from the ovary. During a proliferative phase, the endometrial cells divide rapidly, the epithelium starts to reappear and the blood also starts to reappear and the uterine gland starts to develop. At the end of menstrual phase, the, pro, uh, the endometrial lining uh, is reduced to 1 mm. 
However, at the end of proliferative phase, that 1 mm is restored to 3 or 4 mm. The third phase of uterine changes during menstrual cycle is the ovulatory phase. Usually the ovulatory phase begins with the surge in the level of luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone and the main function of luteinizing hormone is to stimulate the process of ovulation that is the release of egg or ovum from the ovary and during this ovulatory phase there are many changes that occur in the levels of ovarian hormones those are progesterone and estrogen uh, during this the, the level of progesterone increases and estrogen decreases. After ovulation, there will be a secretory phase which is extended from day 15 to day 28. It is between ovulation and the menstruation of the next menstrual cycle. After ovulation, the corpus luteum is developed in the ovary which is responsible for production of more amount of estrogen and the progesterone. The estrogen which is produced in a less quantity which is responsible for development of cells of the uterus in the endometrium and the progesterone which is developed secret in the uh, corpus luteum which is uh, help for the development of glands and the stromal cells in the endometrium wall of the uterus. Now I will explain about the changes taking place in the endometrium wall of the uterus during the secretory phase. Because of increase in the production of the progesterone and estrogen, the glands present in the endometrium wall of the uterus, they become increase in their size and the blood supply to the endometrium wall, it will be increased. The stromal cells become increase in their size because of accumulation of glycogen and the lipids. The appearance to the blood supply to the endometrium wall of the uterus also increase and the thickness of the endometrium wall become till 6 mm, which help in the implantation of the embryo during the pregnancy if fertilization is occur the embryo will be implantation in the endometrium wall of the uterus if it is does not then the endometrium wall of the uterus will be shed off during next next menstrual cycle